Boat 628, a Tony Neal tale. Final of 42, 314 p.m. After negotiating the five falls, Sam's eight raft flotilla grounded at the Camp Creek put in. As Patrick's raft touched bottom, he hopped out, grabbed the boat, and in a decidedly airline pilot paired, he said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Welcome to Camp Creek. We'll be disembarking momentarily. It's been a pleasure flying with you today, and please remember the NOC for all your future outdoor needs. Sliding off the right side of boat 628, Johnny fell to his knees in the shallow water and bringing the palms of his hands to his forehead and covering his eyes, screamed, We made it! We made it! <laughs> while shaking before emitting loud faux sobs. Winking at Patrick while he stood, he handed the river guide two folded bills and added, Nice job, and don't spend that all on weed whites or wine. Save some for women. Thank you, Patrick said with a smile as he stashed the cash in a zipper pocket. Much appreciated. I'm more of a beer, babes, and broccoli kind of guy than whites or wine, but I promise to spend it appropriately. Bang, not bud, bud, Johnny said with a smile, taking Rachel's offered hand as she joined them. Shouldn't be smoking that stuff. It's bad for your lungs. Wow, Patrick, you sound exactly like my dad. Smart fella, isn't he? I thank you, Little Feet thanks you, and Dallas Alice thanks you. I'll go slip a little to Kyle. Ray Ray, I'll come with. You might get lost, she said with a wink. I'm sure he'll appreciate it, Patrick said as his cousin and Lori sidled up. Venmo or cash, Frankie asked. No, 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 Patrick said with a smile. No tips from family on the first trip. But cash is king because what T.O. Sammy doesn't know, T.O. Sammy doesn't collect. Laurie, will you do it again? Hmm, you should probably ask me that again in a couple months, but I'm glad we did it, she said with a smile. It was great seeing you both, and feel free to slip a little leer to Kayak Luke. He'd appreciate it. We'll do it, Frank said with a smile and nod. And don't forget to come back before we head up, Pyatt hollered to Frank and Laurie's backs. The climb's pretty steep and long. Great, Frankie said over his shoulder, shaking his head and smiling. We'll be back. And we can take turns carrying the load, too, Gene said, handing money to Patrick. Been a bit more adventuresome this time, Mr. Pat-Pat. I liked it. Ha! Tony barked. Of course you did. We're going to go spread some love on Leia, and then we'll be back. It's been real, and it's been fun, and it's been very, very wet. Back next year? Count on it. Not sure about John John, Tony said with a smile and a shrug. There are other rivers that are less challenging, Pat said. We'll let him know, Jean replied, smiling and nodding. Patrick's description of their ascent being long and steep was no exaggeration. Laurie and Rachel were on paddle toting duty while Francis and Patrick began the ascent, carrying the raft above their heads. When Francis tired, Jean spelled him in carrying the raft. Then Tony and John joined in the hard work of climbing the steep ascent while carrying boat 628. For the remainder of the climb, the four men plus Jean took turns of varying length, and the speed of ascent was decidedly slower when either Tony or Johnny was assisting. Whew, Johnny said as he and Frankie let the raft drop by the side of the NOC bus. That's one way to get my pulse pounding. Not that I haven't had enough of that today. I hope you all had fun, Patrick said with a grin, and I expect to see each of you back here next year, plus that adventure son of yours, Jean. Fly high and stay dry, he said with a smile and nod before trotting off to assist the other NOC staff members with departure tasks. I'm going to go sit in that shade, Jean said. I'm tired. What? Rachel exclaimed with a laugh. I thought you were the ever-ready bunny. Nodding and smiling, Jean said, my battery's Jane. Drained. I need some rest. A sentiment she and the other two baby boomers demonstrated by falling asleep once the bus was loaded and chugging along back to base.